procession and the entire ceremony if not from where you're standing but at least you can watch it from our screens but anything is possible in that only you will have the undivided support of the government of Kenya as you discharge your responsibilities in your counties I know having been chair of the Intergovernmental Budget and Economic Council, that we have had challenges on matters to do with release of shareable revenue on time. I want to commit to all our governors that the government of Kenya going forward will make it possible that the shareable revenue will be re re released in time and in accordance with the law and the constitution so that we can better manage our counties and make it possible for you to deliver on your mandate and the commitments you have made to the constituents in your counties. Let me also say that we are going to work with you on making sure that counties build the capacity to raise resources on their own source of revenue channel to make it possible for additional resources from the shareable revenue, from own sources of revenue, so that you can better deliver on services and on the mandate that you have been appropriated to by the constitution in your counties. I also want to commit that we will work hard. I have already discussed with the Kenya Revenue Authority on how to raise revenue. And I commit that we will work together with you so that Kenya can live within its means. And there will be no tall men or big girls that the rule of law is going to equalize every Kenyan so that each one of us can pay their taxes. There will be no exemptions on anybody on account of paying taxes. I want to commit that going into the future, the rule of law will be the benchmark that all of us, irrespective of who we are, will be expected to live by the rule of law. I want to commit to all my friends in leadership that we are going to work together to make Kenya a country of opportunity, that every citizen of the Republic of Kenya working hard will access opportunity without the necessity of having any connection. You know my brother, Johnson, that you are a miracle candidate, that your election to the city governor of Nairobi is indeed a miracle. And it wouldn't have happened without God. And I want to appreciate that you have 
understood and underscored the place of faith and God in your election as the governor of the city of Nairobi. I want to tell you, my friend and brother, that we will work with you. We have confidence in you. We are proud of you. And we know the great city of Nairobi has the best that it can get in terms of governor. I also uh, will be available to consult. You know the commitments we already made to the people of Nairobi with respect to market infrastructure, the commitments we have made in matters collection and management of garbage. You know the commitments we have made in matters to do with transport infrastructure for the great city of Nairobi. And you know, um, my brother, the commitments we have made in making sure that every hustle will count in the great city of Nairobi. I will be on hand to support you. And finally, you and me have already discussed on making the rivers of Nairobi places of opportunity, enterprise, and business as opposed to what it is today, a place of filth and raw sewage. You and me have discussed on the Nairobi Rivers Commission. I will be looking forward to consultation so that we can set it up and begin to truly make this great city a city of dignity, in your own words, and a city of opportunity. To all my fellow citizens of the Republic of Kenya, I want to urge us as we go into the future, you have spoken to us loudly. And I want to ask all, and all the leaders of the Republic of Kenya to listen to the loud message that is coming from the citizens of our country. The citizens of our country are speaking to us loudly that they want their politics to be non-tribal and they want their politics to be peaceful. In this election, we have seen a very new phenomenon, that we all voted, and the next day we were ready to go to work, and we were ready to go on with our lives, and everybody on to their hustle. That is the loud statement that is coming from the people of Kenya to those of us who are leaders. I am asking all of us as leaders to listen to what the people of Kenya are saying so that we can conclude the remaining steps of our election in a peaceful, orderly, respectful manner, respecting all the institutions that will discharge their responsibilities because we are a country governed by law by the rule of law, and by our constitution. I want to conclude again by asking all the leaders of the great city of Nairobi, from our good friends, members of the county assembly, and the workers of the great city of Nairobi, to join hands with the new leadership under Johnson Sakaja and take our great city to the next level. And I want to commit and pledge to you that we will be available to work with you because Nairobi is our collective business. Mm -hmm.